My name is Olaf Heine, and I um, am a music photographer, a celebrity photographer, portrait photographer. Just recently published a book called Leaving the Comfort Zone. It has different meanings. Um, the book is pretty much about my work, um, you know, dating back as far as uh, 91, which was when I just, you know, left my hometown and um, started traveling. So it means, on one hand, it means, you know, just leaving your parents' house and, you know, exploring the world, um, growing up, I guess. The other meaning is pretty much because I think that when two people meet to, to do a shoot, um, they have, both have to take risks and they have to leave the comfort zone and you have to be open enough to trust the other person. Me as a photographer as well as, as the subject in front of my camera, we both um, kind of have to be, you know, um, brave and open and risky to uh, try out things that might not feel that comfortable but might end up in a, a you know, might end up in a, in a good picture. When I started, uh, you know, over 10 years ago in, in, uh, in you know, my home country, Germany, um, with uh, musicians, and that was because I had a lot of friends who were actually in bands, and, um, you know, I just slipped in there, and they asked me to do pictures, because I've always done pictures, and um, well, some of them got published, and then, you know, other people came to me and asked me to, to shoot for them. And um, that's how I got into the whole thing. I became a father a year ago and had a son. And uh, I think it was just a time to close a chapter, look back at your work, work that you've done over the last years, and, you know, maybe open another chapter. I don't know. We'll see. What is a photographer? That's the main question, you know. I've always taken pictures, and um, I think I had my first camera when I was eight, something. But I mean, I've been a professional photographer, well, let's put it this way, my first publication was in 91, my first record sleeve that I photographed was in 91, so that makes it 17 years. I had a great publisher. Um, Hatia Kanz in, in uh, Germany, and uh, I had a lot of freedom. Um, I worked closely with them, you know, the editing of the book, I did that with the people from the, from the, uh, with the publisher. Um, but, uh, you know, from the editing, from the selection of the book to choosing the title, to choosing the cover image, choosing the way it was printed, and the layout and the design, um, I would say I had, I don't know, 80, 90 percent input. I, I mean, I did the graphic design myself, pretty much. I've, I, I've hadn't had in, enough experience in, in the printing process, so it was all new to me, and I spent, you know, two nights in the publishing, in the publisher's uh, print house um, overseeing the, the whole process, and, you know, I would say I'm 90 percent happy, yeah. But there's always things that can be better, and uh, there's always room for improvement, and, and that's what drives you in the end, you know, and that's good, you know. Uh, I would say the moment when you are 100% happy with your work, then you should stop, actually. As I said, the book is, you know, um, about my photography from 91 to 2008. 
So of course we have a lot of different techniques in the book. You know, I started out with a simple 35 millimeter camera, and I'm, you know, using Polaroid cameras. I'm using, you know, uh, medium format cameras, large format cameras, uh, all kinds of different images, uh, uh, different cameras, and um, also I started shooting, of course, on film. But nowadays I shoot digital, so I try to give the book an overall look of what I like, which is like my old black and white prints. I use the technique that I think is most appropriate for the image that I want to show and for the, the image that I want to take. So, you know, if I think my image would be good with an old, you know, lightbox camera, um, I would probably use it. Or I did a shoot not too long ago and, you know, the client said, you know, I want it to look like black and white film, you know, so I just shot the whole thing on film, you know, even though I shoot everything else on, di on, 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 on a digital camera. And it's not so important, I think, you know. I mean, I never really took the technique too serious, and I don't really care, and I'm not, you know, such a perfect photographer. To me, it's more about the emotions that you are showing and, you know, the emotions that you're carrying in your photography. That's what makes the picture great. My prints are going to be kind of done the same way. You know, I, um, the basis is uh, digital files, but we are using a process where you expose them onto silver gelatine paper. So it's old school black and white paper. It's not a printer. It's not like, you know, uh, what do you say, inkjet, an inkjet printer. It's a, it's a photography, a photographic, uh, photographic uh, process in the lab, um, which, you know, I think is great because you got the digital and the analog medium, you know. There's a lot of people who always talk about, you know, um, keeping up the analog spirit in photography. And my, my take on it is that it's just the camera, you know, it's just, it's just the medium. Photography actually happens in your head and not in a little box that you hold in your hand. So, you know, 150 years ago, they, or 100 years ago, they shot on glass plates, you know, and then they shot on film. And you shoot on Polaroid or you shoot, uh, you know, directly on paper, as some people do in photography, like Man Ray, for instance, Rochenko. Um, and nowadays, you know, uh, we shoot on cards, you know, with digital files. And uh, God knows what are we, you know, what we're shooting on in, in 100 years. So, you know, that's just the, it's just the, um, what you call it, the, the, the data carrier or whatever, you know? I don't know the English word for it, but it's, um, we call it Datenträger in German. Um, it's just, you know, it's just technique. It's, it's, it's not what makes the picture, in my opinion, you know? In my opinion, it's, it's the head, you know? It's, uh, that's what counts.